All right, hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Narada, the Black Gamer God. I first want to give a shout out to my notification squad. Thank you guys for holding me down. I want to also give a shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you for supporting the channel and Black Gamer God. Today, I wanted to switch it up a bit. I know I'm always streaming constantly. Um, but in a means to help you guys get more familiar with me, <laughs> Black Haber God, I decided, um, number one, I was going to do a video about me, which, mm, it was kind of boring. I don't know. I felt like it was kind of boring. So instead, I decided to do that as well as do a Q&A video. And um, I asked you guys on Instagram, if you're not following me, follow me at Black Gamer God. I don't post too often, but when I do post, it's, you know, whatever. Alright, um, sorry, it's the alcohol. <laughs> I don't know why I'm taking shots. And I gotta go back to work in like a few hours. Okay. So we're gonna do this Q&A. Let me go on this, uh, this post here so I can pull up these questions. Um, it wasn't too many questions, so we should be able to get through this. Fairly quickly. Um, you said you've always been a gamer. How come you didn't start a gaming channel first? So those of you who don't know, I actually started a natural hair channel in college. And I started that back in 2011. So it's been almost eight years that I've been on YouTube. Um, that channel has about 85,000 subscribers that I've amassed within that time. And um, back then I was playing video games too. Um, I didn't know streaming video games was really a thing uh, back then. Um, I really only looked up game videos when I got stuck on the game or I wanted a review or something like that. But even then I wasn't really um, well versed in the gaming community. Um, I think college is when I actually started to play online and stuff so it, it was kind of really new to me with the whole online gaming community so that's why um also i didn't get a ps4 until last year and um i didn't really have a means to stream i think i've thought about it now i think about it i think sometime in college i thought about um streaming video games with like a gaming computer or something like that a gaming pc but i didn't I didn't have the means to do all of that, so that's why it didn't happen. So it didn't happen until I got my PS4 last year, which is why I stream on my PS4. It just works, you know, editing and all the technical stuff on my part, so, hey. Alright, <clears throat> are you into Battle Royale games? Do you add subs to PSN? Oh, this is a lot of questions. Okay, are you into Battle Royale games? Um, I've never really played them. Um, I did just download... Apex Legends, so I'm gonna give that a try and see. Uh, people say that battle royale games are really addictive, um, so I guess we'll see what happens. Um, do you add subs to PSA? I do, but um, the only time I really play on my system is really when I'm streaming. Like, I don't really have a lot of free time with my day outside of work, um, skating, and getting on and streaming. So. Whenever I'm streaming, I don't really have time to like play with <clears throat> with uh, subs or anything like that because I prefer to like stream on my own. Um, sometimes when you stream with subs, it gets a little too like I don't know. It's it, it's kind of hectic. So, are you dating? Um, am I dating? I'm open to dating, if that's the question, but am I going out on dates? No. No, I've been single and celibate for about five years now, and it wasn't my choice. <laughs> it, it definitely wasn't my choice, but um, I just haven't encountered anyone that's worth my time. You know, I'm a very busy person. I'm building a business. Uh, I'm skating like four times out the week, so unless I have a reason to not go skating, I ain't going out on no dates. So that's just what it is. If so, how's dating in this age, in this day and age, going for you? Oh, I probably should have read that part. Um, it's not going that well. Uh, dating in Atlanta, dating gay men in Atlanta is very. 
It's very dicey. Uh, I have very, I won't say very high standards, but I, I have, I have standards for myself, and a lot of people, um, they just don't measure up to those standards, or they're really messy and full of drama, or they slept with half of, you know, the gay community in Atlanta, and, or we just are compatible. I, I'm an out-of-the-box kind of person, so because I'm such a unique person and there's so many levels to me, a lot of people... I don't know. I, I, I feel like I don't relate to a lot of people um, in my age group. So, I feel like I need to date a little older. Um, date someone a bit more mature to match my maturity level and where I'm at in life. Why did you decide to come back to YouTube? I don't know if this is in regard to my gaming channel or my hair channel. Because... I guess, it's, I guess it's my hair channel. Uh, I decided to come back because I felt like... I felt like people... I felt like the message I had on my hair channel was getting lost in all the foolishness. And I felt like I needed to step away from that because it was becoming stressful for me. I felt like I wasn't getting the recognition I deserved and worked for. And then also... Um, you know, people just don't appreciate what they have until it's gone. And I feel like once I stepped away and people saw just how crazy the community got without a voice of reason, then I think that's when people really um, started missing out on, you know, my content and whatnot. And I feel bad for them because it just, it just kept going worse and worse and worse. It, it just kept going out of control. So, um, I was in a better place to be back on YouTube, um, and so I decided to come back. Hold on, y'all, because these, these allergies is out of control. I'll be right back. Ooh. Oh, man, allergy season is not a joke. Okay. Have you ever had any problems being a black gamer as well as being gay when you started? Oh, uh, if this is about the gaming community, no. Um, you guys know whenever I play online, I'm always, like, bombarded with questions like, Gamer, are you gay? You know, outside of that, it's just like, it's, it's usually a bunch of teenagers, so I don't really pay them any mind. Outside of that, um, being a black gamer, nah. Nah. Being gay, nah. I mean, you, you encounter homophobia, you encounter racism when you play it online and things like that. So, nothing that you wouldn't expect, but it has a... It, it hasn't really affected my experience with being a gamer and playing games. Uh, let's see. What games did you buy that you would not have if it had not been for streaming on YouTube? Which ones did you regret buying the most? Ooh, that's a good question. Let me go back to my channel. And let me see what games we play, because we played through quite a few of them. Um, off the top of my head, I can definitely remember Daylight. That game was the worst. We didn't even finish that game, and I don't even think I've ever went back to finish it. I think I uninstalled it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, not too many games, I don't think, but let me see. The Order 1886... I don't think it was a bad game, I just don't think it was a game that I personally would have preferred to invest in. And sometimes you buy games and, you know, it's a disappointment, it comes with the territory. Oh, the, the biggest game I regret the most, I think I streamed this only like once or twice, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I am a big Marvel vs. Capcom 3 fan. Like, I used to play that game religiously for years, even after the whole community died down or whatever. So, going into Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, I expected that same kind of feel for the game, and I was just really disappointed. I think I played that game all of about twice, three times maybe. And I've never picked it up since. It was a waste of my money. It was a waste of my time. It was a waste of me downloading Black Panther 
Um, it was just for the hype. I did. I, that was the biggest game I regret getting. Uh, I didn't stream it too much, but yeah, I didn't like it at all. All right, let's get back to the questions. I need to just go ahead and get this tissue right here, cause bitch, I can't fucking breathe. Has a game ever touched you to the point where you wanted to cry? Mm. Mm. Wanted to cry? No, I don't think so. I'm not a very emotional person. <laughs> uh, I think, I think TV shows and movies move me more emotionally than video games. But these video games are starting to become more cinematic and theatrical in nature. Um, but it, it it's not, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever played a game that's really made me want to cry. The last time I cried watching something was actually Xena Warrior Princess. When Xena got her back broken by Kalisto and they were about to be crucified by the Romans. And Xena looked over at Gabrielle and she was like, I love you, Gabrielle. And then Gabrielle looked at her as they were about to be had. And she was like, Xena, you were the best thing in my life. I felt the emotion. That and when um that same episode when Gabrielle had took on um a pacifist way of life. And she was all about peace and not killing. And then when Xena got her back broken and she saw Xena about to be killed, she was like, oh, hell no, y'all not about to kill my best friend. She grabbed that sword and she was like, slice, dice, slash, stab. And she just like, she just gave up everything just, just for the love of her friend. I thought that spoke to me a lot more emotionally than any video game ever had. Who knows though? I, I might play a game in the future and y'all might catch me crying. You know, but I don't think I've actually literally cried uncontrollably from playing it. Would you consider joining a collective of black mixed gamers to tackle online racism and homophobia? Uh, that sounds great, but no, I probably wouldn't do that. Um, I'm just not concerned about that personally. Um, I don't know. I feel like racism and homophobia needs to be addressed, but I'm, I'm just not the person to go and, and fight that battle because I feel like it's a, a never-ending battle, and I ain't got time for it. That's just me. I just, whenever I encounter that in my everyday life, I just, I don't pay no attention. I will give them no energy. What do you enjoy about the gaming community in comparison to the natural hair community? Even though many of your initial followers came over from your natural hair channel, the vibe seems very different. Why do you think that is? I think because what I like about the gaming community is that it's much less political. And this also goes back to the previous question. Um, it's much, much less political than the whole natural hair community. Um, people in the natural hair community are very uptight. Um, they're very... <sighs> They're very sensitive. They're very sensitive. And they are, when it comes to hair, hair is a very sensitive topic. People say hair is just hair, but hair is so much deeper than that. Hair is trauma for some people. Hair is an emotional roller coaster for some people. Hair is an emotional investment for certain people. Hair is you being told all your life that your hair is ugly and being compared to your mixed cousin who has, you know, a different curl pattern than you. So hair is a lot more, has a lot more depth and levels to it than just video games. And I think I enjoy the gaming community more because it strips away all of the political and socio-political stances when it comes to the world and the environment and you can just play a game enjoy it and that's it like it's an escape from all the craziness in the world from Trump from all of that foolishness and you just play a game and enjoy it so I think for me that's what I enjoy most and I think that's why our community here on the gaming channel is a lot more laid back because like we just we chilling you know what I'm saying like bitches on natural hair videos be up in their feelings be ready to curse you out and shit be ready to like send you death threats through the comment section. It's not that deep. You know, it's not that deep. 
All right. Um, oh, here we are. We're at the end. Not a question, but I think we all need to see Aaliyah's reaction to your Aaliyah. So I'm hoping one day she can like chill with us as we're playing the sounds. I don't. I don't know if she's done that yet. I think maybe she came down late one night, but I don't think we were playing The Sims. So I'm hoping she can like sit through and play. Aaliyah actually enjoys playing The Sims. Um, so who knows, maybe I'll have her get on one night and, and stream The Sims instead of me. I think that would be interesting, a different take on that. But um, Aaliyah is never home. Aaliyah is always gone being grown and doing whatever she wanted to do. So. Um, yeah, if, if Aaliyah's in my vicinity when we stream it, then hey, we can definitely bring her in on the fun and on the action. I'll definitely let her play and show her the ropes and all that, but Aaliyah loves the serums, so I don't see why she wouldn't, uh, why she wouldn't play it. But, uh, yeah, that's our first q and A. I I think that went pretty good. I think that went pretty good. Thank you all so much for submitting your questions. Thank you all again for the love and support of the channel. It means so much to me. I will see you all again on a stream very soon once I get this allergy situation together. And uh, until then, guys, be blessed. <laughs> Bye. See y'all next time.